Hello viewers, uh, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is uh, spider nevus or uh, spider angiomas. You know. uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe, and share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, in that case, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com, and the link for the website is just below this video in the description area. You know, so you can click that link to. Uh, visit their website, you know, and uh, to subscribe this channel, uh, the subscribe button is also just below this video. So don't forget to click the button if you haven't already subscribed. You know, now I come to the topic: what is, uh, what are the spider angiomas? You know, you know, the spider nevus. Uh, it has several names, you know, like uh, spider veins or the spider angioma or. Uh, Nevus erinus uh, uh, and uh, vascular spider, you know. So these are the different names which are used for the same medical condition. And spider nevus is uh, a collection of small uh, dilated uh, arterioles, you know, or the blood vessels, you know. Uh, which are clustered very close to the surface of the skin, you know. And the cluster of vessels is a web-like uh, with the, like, uh, central spot and uh, radiating vessels, you know. So, uh, the spider nerve is a plural, which is a plural, you know. It can be caused by injuries, it can be caused by sun exposure, it can be caused by the hormonal changes or maybe because of the liver diseases. Uh, but often can uh, most many times we don't know the cause you know and uh, the most people uh, they are not uh, most of them they are not the concern you know and in some cases they cause discomfort you know and the vessel clusters can be treated or it can be removed in a number of ways and which include like the use of uh, compression stockings, uh, chemical injections and laser treatments, you know. Uh, the next thing is what are the symptoms? Well, for most people with the spider nerve, uh, nevus, you know, so the only symptom is the appearance of the vessel cluster, you know. And, uh, there may be a red dot in the center of the cluster of uh, like thin vessels, you know. And, uh, uh, but this is not always the case, you know. The, the thin vessels uh, from a web-like shape or the red uh, or the blue or the purple color, you know. And when you apply the pressure, they will disappear and then reappear because blood is flowing back into the like, vessels, you know. And uh, spider... Uh, navy can occur uh, anywhere on the body, but they are most common on the face, on the neck, on the legs, and uh, sun exposed areas, exposed areas, you know. And some people may experience uh, like aching or the burning in the area, you know. And uh, this pain occurs most commonly when the vessels are in the legs. Uh, and and uh, after a long period of standing, you know. And... Uh, they are usually not uh, a cause for any concern, you know, if you don't have any symptoms or health conditions, you know. The next thing is what are the, how, when to see the doctor, you know, and uh, uh, what are the causes, you know. You know, if you have any problem, apart from the appearance, you know, uh, you should talk to your doctor, you know. And... Uh, the webs of webs of the small uh, uh, arteries and uh, capillaries uh, that uh, appear close to the skin are abnormal, you know. And uh, what causes this to happen is not clear, you know, and it's not understood. And the scientists believe that the various factors may play an important role in the spider nerve, you know, and these may include like. Uh, uh, sun exposure, you know, or maybe injury, you know, or uh, maybe the changes in the hormone levels, you know, 
or underlying illnesses such as liver disease, you know. And uh, especially if there is more than one, you know, uh, uh, spider nerve, you know, so is common sign of like liver disease, you know. And the people with the liver disease uh, often have the multiple vessel clusters at a time on the different parts of the body, you know. And the spider nerve is, uh, uh, its nervous is commonly occurs when uh, you have uh, a lot of estrogen in your blood, you know, which is a hormone, you know. And uh, as uh, uh, is the case with uh, chronic liver disease or uh, during the pregnancy as well, you know. And uh, it's more common in the people with alcohol related uh, liver cirrhosis, okay, and then uh, in those with the cirrhosis which is not related to alcoholism, you know. And uh, the cause of the spider uh, nevis are not fully understood, you know, but there are certain risk factors that has been identified like age, or maybe hormonal changes or uh, sun exposure, or family history and obesity and uh, pregnancy, you know, and sitting or standing for the long period of time, you know, so these can make it worse, you know. Now your doctor will uh, most likely be able to tell you if you have the spider nervous simply by looking at the appearance of the skin. In question you know and uh, sometimes the skin biopsy may be needed to perform to confirm the diagnosis and uh, what's more important is diagnosing the underlying cause and ruling out the any medical condition which are causing these uh, uh, vessel clusters you know and uh, you will be asked about hormone supplements if you're taking anyone you know and any other medications that you're taking you know or any prescription or over-the-counter medications you know and your doctor will also ask you about uh, alcohol consumption you know are you uh, are you alcoholic you know? and uh, you have any liver disease you know and uh, it may be a sign of the liver disease you know uh, which is induced by the uh, liver cirrhosis which uh, due to the alcoholism you know and if the liver problems are suspected your doctor will draw a sample of your blood to test uh, for the liver function test you know and uh, the liver is uh, responsible for uh, many important uh, like uh, yes, very important responsibilities, you know, such as like uh, uh, detoxifying the blood and helping to digest the food and uh, producing the proteins that help to clot the blood, you know. And the liver disease uh, testing, also called as liver panel, you know, or the liver function test, you know, they involves taking blood samples uh, to test for the enzymes and the proteins produced and excreted by the liver, you know. So the increased or the decreased levels of these substances as well as the presence of certain types can signal the liver disease, you know. And then your doctor will perform a further tests to see the liver health, you know. Now once diagnosed, then what are the treatment options? You know, in many cases, there's no treatment which is required, you know. If uh, these uh, clusters of blood vessels, they are not causing any problem, you know. And, uh, you know, if they are not causing like uncomfortable burning or itching, you know, uh, and they are not related to the liver disease, in that case you may not uh, need any treatment, you know. And if uh, they cause discomfort or if you choose to have them treated for the cosmetic reasons, you know, uh, there are several choices like laser treatment or maybe, you know, and uh, and uh, many other medications as well, you know. And uh, you may not be able to prevent this. Uh, this condition entirely you know if you are uh, predisposed to this condition due to the family history and the genetics okay and you are likely to get the spider nerve no matter what you do you know while no specific preventive measures are known so you may prevent uh, new spider nerve from farming by just uh, providing the hormone therapy or maybe wearing the sunscreen when you're going out or controlling your blood con uh, alcohol consumption you know and uh, treating the liver disease uh, properly you know so this way uh, you can improve you know uh, but we don't know the right uh, exact reason so it's uh, really all the time it's not possible to prevent you know thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com thank you and goodbye